EHA meeting, I will uh, be chairing a session on immunodeficiency, antibody deficiency uh, in patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia. This is a really important topic that I think is probably underrepresented at the meetings um, in general. When you start to look at the data for uh, outcomes for patients with CLL, if not the most common, one of the most common causes of morbidity and mortality are actually infectious complications. And I think over the last year, we really got a sense of how um, patients with CLL fare in a pandemic, um, in particular when exposed to a new virus like the COVID-19 uh, virus. So we put together this session to highlight what immunodeficiency means in CLL. My, my particular talk, I'm focusing on not only antibody deficiency, which is quite common, uh, and termed hypogammaglobulinemia, but also other immunodeficiencies in, you know, in T-cell function, NK-cell function, um, trying to highlight the fact that this patient population have always been at risk for infectious complications, not only from their therapies, but also from the disease itself. I talk uh, about IVIG or um, immunoglobulin replacement therapy as a um, potential intervention um, in terms of secondary prophylaxis for infections, uh, in patients with CLL, highlighting some of the older data, uh, talk about rates of routes of administration, adverse event profile, and really the rationale to think about using IVIG uh, in this setting, and maybe even a rationale for studies that are ongoing looking at IVIG for primary infectious prophylaxis for treated patients with CLL. Uh, of course, I'm not the only speaker at the session. There are other speakers highlighting uh, further detail responses to vaccines, which is also a very timely topic, and then updating the data sets that have been produced from our group and also uh, the ERIC consortium on COVID-19 outcomes and responses specifically to the mRNA vaccines. So it should be a very timely session. We're highlighting, highlighting a, an old problem that doesn't often get represented well at the meetings, but then delving deep into the, de delving deep into the data for COVID, um, which I think will be of tremendous importance to practitioners and patients with CLL, CLL alike. So I hope you are able to either attend the session live or um, it should be recorded and you should be able to participate that way.